Uh, today, I'm going to try a game that I have not played before. I, I installed it. I have not played it. I've just literally jumped in and changed my sensitivity on my camera, but that's pretty much about it. So I have no idea what to expect. This could be an absolute load of steaming pants. Or it could be really good. Or it could be somewhere in between. I haven't got a clue. But we'll find out. What I'm thinking of doing, because there's a whole bunch of tutorials. So I'm thinking of going through the tutorials. Uh, just so I can get... We can try different equipment and stuff. Because I notice on the tutorial... In fact, let me just go to the main menu and show you. If you go to the main menu, there's like... I think there's a career mode. You go to play. Yeah, so there's a career mode we can do. Uh, open world career. Open world easy, medium, hard. Uh, so we could we could do career, but what I want to do is tutorials first, because there's like first person and driving, drive and operate the skidder, uh, operate the tree fella, operations. So we'll work through these just so that I can get used to the controls, because I don't know what the controls are. And then maybe we'll try career if it's any good. I'll frame something went a bit weird then. Mickard, thank you, 33 months. Okay, so I've had to move the chat. You may have noticed I've moved what the was chat. That? We need total concentration. Thank you, Sertleman. I've had to move the chat because top left, it, it always shows you what the keyboard mappings are. And with the chat on top of that, it, everything becomes unreadable. So I've punted the chat down there. The video quality is horrible. Is it okay for anybody else? Because I'm already losing frames. Maybe it's just, it's worth, well, it's fine for you, Greg. Yes, okay. So it's probably local to Vinyl Rabbit then. Yeah. Click on the cog, Vinyl Rabbit, and see what your uh, resolution's on. You might well be on 360 or something stupid. Or just refresh your page, maybe. Uh, so top left, you've got enter vehicle, change tool, use tool, pick up. And also, it does support, I think, the Xbox controller. So I'm going to put that to one side. Might be using that for driving, maybe. <laughs> 160p, gang. Lol. Let's go into here, right. Uh, time for... It says... Hmm. Now, at the top of the screen, it tells me what to do. And my squirrel logo sat on top of that. That's That's really frustrating. It says, time for cutting practice. Take the log and place it on the saw book. Okay, so uh, use tool and pick up E. Okay, there we go. You just click to let go. Yeah, okay. Cut the log in two pieces by using the chainsaw. Check the controls top left. Use tool, pick up. Chainsaw Q. Ooh. Ooh. Picked up Landlord's mm. Super yesterday and haven't been able to stop playing it since the accents are the best part of the game. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You've enjoying Landlord Super, Danny? I'm having a laugh with it. It's, it's a little bit grindy, but man, it's funny. How do we? I just want to check this. How does this work? 3.1 meters. I love this. Are we in America and we've got tape measures that are in meters? As if. Right, so if that's 3.1 meters, half of that will be like 1.6-ish. Can we click and put a mark down or anything? 1.6. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Nice. Q, Q. Uh, it could be d Storm, yeah. Mikard, Slutman, Referic, 65, Danny... Uh, picked up on the super and then towel with 500 bits. Thank you, towel. No, I don't think you do, Vinyl Rabbit. I was just flicking through tools and wondering, like, how this all works. Maybe if you line that up there. Celebratory bunting. Use tool. Can we finish level for future? Easy, mate. What are we saying? Can we finish level four, D Storm? You may already have done that. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Right, let's put that away. What does it want us to do? Carry the cut log and load it into the back of the pickup truck. All right. Can we knock down the big truck instead?
I mean, I'm not impressed by the windows. Like, just... Yeah. <laughs> like, misty mirrors. We can't be bothered to show the inside, so we'll just black it out. <laughs> How do we put that in there? Object slipped out of your hands. Okay, did it? Right, there we go. Woo! Take the pickup for a drive. Following the green checkpoints. Zed's open map overlay. Uh, we've got Z. WASD, okay. Alright, so this is the map. That's actually quite a big map. Is that gold in the top right, or is just the <laughs> just the sunshine? Q and E. Oh, I see some nice equipment there. Looks like we're going off-road. Uh, space to center map on player. Go to location R. Oh god, what did I just press? Did I just teleport? What the heck? Where am I? Wait. Wait, what am I down here for? What? What? What's going on? Apparently you can just teleport around the map. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. Isabella, thank you for 16. Leonard, thank you for 88. Well, yeah, what do you need a trick for if you can teleport? Probably to move logs around. V to enter vehicle. Right, can I use my, um, Xbox thingy now? Okay, nothing's happening. Oh, here we go. Trigger. Okay. So, bottom right, it says... Fuel... RPM, gear, diff, differentials open. I guess now we find out what the physics is like. Use the winch if stuck. Pick up the winch hook from the front of the vehicle. Attach it to trees. All right, hang on. We need to try this. How do we get out? There we go. We need to try this. How does this work? How far does the winch cable go? Winch connected. <laughs> um, v to get back in. How do we winch in? Winch is minus and plus. Yeah, but what is it on a controller, I wonder? D-pad? No. Bumpers? No. Oh, God. Um, all right. So that's not high resolution, but it's not low uh, the mirrors obviously don't work. So right bumper does that. Driver camera, free camera, follow camera. I wonder what the winch key is. Oh, X does the diff. Look, open, locking, equal. A, I don't know what A does. Don't know what B does. D-pad doesn't do anything. I don't actually know how you winch with a controller. Maybe there's no key map. Winch up. Oh, well, the winch works anyway. Oh my god. That car's disgusting. How do you get rid of the winch? How do I, um... Cancel the winch? It doesn't actually tell you how to not winch anymore. Um... Tribal, thank you for subbing. Welcome. With Prime, thank you, mate. Uh, PS4 Gamer, 76 months. Uh, Robo Joe with 14. Thanks for the making the weekends better. You're welcome, sir. Uh, Jens, thank you for 33. Insert Monty Python joke here. Well, okay, then. What is your name? What is the SP velocity of an unladen swallow? That's not how it goes. It's like... Oh, there you go. It says something like, what's what's the airspeed of a, of a, a swallow? And he says laden or unladen. Something like that, isn't it? Oh, God, I think we just lost the winch. There it is. I get where you're coming from. It is, he looks at the script. I thought he said, I thought one of the questions was laden or unladen. Honor, Oz, thank you very much for eight months. Oh, European or Asian, is that what he says? Right, okay, fair enough. It's been a while. I'm going, how do we, what was the key to change? Locking diff, there we go. Ooh. 
Okay, we've gone a bit quick here. Can we go first person? It might be more fun. Use the windshield stuck. Yeah, we've done all that. Let's just YOLO it. Who's ready for a long bank holiday weekend? Do you know what? I actually forgot it was a bank holiday weekend. Change the differential motor locking when driving off-road. Thanks, I'm already doing it. Yeah, I think... I know that Alex is in the Netherlands. They had the bank holiday last Monday. But in the UK, we've got ours this Monday. Yeah, the rear view mirror is great. Wait, can you drop? Can you knock trees down? I mean, we are a lumberjack. Oh, you can. You can actually. Ooh, okay, okay. And you can get stuck on trees. Oh, you can actually properly get stuck on trees. To the point where you ruin the whole tutorial because you're stuck on a tree. Oh my god! <laughs> What's this? Interesting camera. Let's maybe go follow camera rather than free camera. Right, let's put it back on open. You've reached the road, you can use the map to navigate. Thanks. Yeah, the free camera seems to let you go underground. <laughs> Almost reached the gas station and warehouse. Cool. Broadsider, thank you for five months. All right, looks like we're going to play some big boy equipment in a minute. Uh, to sell the log, park on the location ahead, leave the vehicle and complete the sale. Park on the location ahead. This location? I don't know. Oh, that one there, maybe, with the dollar sign. Oh, right, okay. Maybe you've just got to be in here, and then you can go here. Maybe that's what we do. There we go. Sell for 81. Not 81 dollars, or 81 euros, or 81 Bitcoin, or 81 grains of rice. We'll just sell for 81. You may choose another level from the menu. Oh, okay, right. Let's go back to... Um Okay, it looks like we've got to go back to the main menu to do the next one. <laughs> we can't actually just go to next tutorial because that would be too easy. Yeah, I won't mind 81 Bitcoin. That'd be quite good. Whoa! Physics initialization, please. What the heck? <laughs> right. Uh, take the skidder and follow checkpoints. Skidder. Okay, what's it called? Is this he calling this the skidder? I guess this is the skidder. He just looks like a crab. That's got to be the... the heck, man? That's got to be the tree fella? That should surely be folded up right now. Alright, how do we um, press V? There we go. Winch rotation height. Hey, it's got some stuff. Look, bottom right, it's got height, page up, page down. Let me put it in three camera. I want to see what page up does. Oh, it's the height of that. I was hoping it might be suspension height or something. Mad dog, thank you for 19. I think the bits of mud flying up at a bit, kind of. Okay, that's a great hitbox. Note to self, my tire hitbox is a foot bigger than it looks. <laughs> Muddy road ahead, change to differential locking. Your cam seems to be covering a piece of the hood. Yeah, they, it's nothing interesting, it's just the, like, yeah. Don't worry about it. You're not missing much. I've already moved myself over.
Who puts a tree in the middle of a path? Come on. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a lumberjack if he wasn't taking trees down. And that, how far do we have to go? There doesn't seem to be any adverse effect to having the diff locked or not. I'm hoping we're going there. Like in SnowRunner, it would be crying if you have the diff locked when you went on a, a bit of flat, smooth road. Um, where are we going? I think they should have put these green boxes a bit nearer. Let's put the locking diff back on. Come on, you underpowered huge thing. <laughs> yeah, there's no fuel burn, right? I mean, looking at the fuel needle, it's not moving either. Uh, that way. Where the speeder was, every now and again, there's like a... Um, like an icon keeps lighting up. I think that's saying you're slipping. Your wheels are skidding. How's the force feedback? As good as any Xbox controller. Almost reached the login area. Check out controls for the skidder crane top left. Dude, where am I even going? I think it's trying to make me look at the map. <laughs> That's what it's trying to do. Cut a tree from the designated area and skid to the warehouse location on the map. Okay. I think it, this is the designated area. All the checkpoints to reach the warehouse, which is up there. Right, all right. Let's, uh... So we've got to go, what, that way? That's where we're going, isn't it? Actually, no. We're going that way. Okay, so let's grab this one. You'll do. You look a nice, healthy tree. Yeah, but maybe you don't own the house, Slane. Maybe that's like your uncle's house. Logging area goal complete. <laughs> that's how they used to do it. But that's not how we do it now. Right, I have no idea how this works. Do we just hold E? Okay, apparently we just hold E. No option to, like, you know, cut a wedge, have it fall a certain direction. Just hold E and it goes where it wants. Seems to be the order of the day. Do we need to chop any bits off it? Do we need to, like, do this? Or just take the whole tree? I have no idea. What if it falls on you? Maybe, maybe it always falls away. Maybe that's like the game mechanic. Um, did he just... Oh God, I don't know. Do we just take the whole thing? Let's just take what we can. See what happens. Right. That mud is a bit overdone. You're going to get in, bro. Okay. There we go. Have to get in the correct side. Uh, let's see. Free camera. God, we're going backwards. I'm trying to... The free camera's a bit weird. There we go. Right. How do we open this thing? Rotate tool, left Q and E. Left tool, page up, page down. Wind up. Tool use space. There we go. then I got weird things are happening page down space key page up this is probably a bad idea because the tree's still underneath so let, let's try that again <laughs> let's come back a bit is that 
I think that'll stay. Okay, let, let's um, let's see if we can drag this thing all the way up the hill. Let's see how this works out. Wow, well, some real mud there. Right, where are we going? All the checkpoints reach the warehouse. Sell the log, park on the location ahead, leave the vehicle and complete sale. Okay. So here, I guess. Right, how many Bitcoin do we get for this? 1,610? Holy smoke. Level complete, you're choosing a level. Oh, thank you. That's a lot. We didn't even do anything to it. We just lopped it down and dragged it over here. Easy money, mate. Easy money. Frosty Forza, thank you for 66. NJN, 45. I thought it was Lumber Paul. <laughs> I see what you did there. Right, escape to the main menu. Let's try the next one. Play tutorials. This one, number three. Drive and operate the fella. This is like the scorpion in Farm Simulator, I think. Oh, chains. Look at that. Take the phallus to logging area following the checkpoints. Actually, no, this isn't the scorpion. This is complete. Look at those chains, though. They're wicked. Engine audio is a bit naff. Make sure that the front crane is not digging into the ground. Check the crane adjustment controls on your left. Okay. Uh, left tool page up. Now uh, you see. Lift them up so you can't see anything. I see the plan. If you either don't see where you're going or you dig into the ground, you can't have it both ways. Slow down, no. Floor it, dude. Never lift. Logging areas on your left. Cut one tree with the crane by approaching the tree. All right, let's try and get. Let's try and get that big tree there, that brown one. Okay. Let's put that down. Maybe like that. And then space. Oh, okay. Wait, that's already open. Dude, you're going to have to open a lot more than that. Come on. You can tilt with home and end. I don't see any options to open that up. There's literally just that. Place the tree onto the green square by lowering the crane and releasing the grapple. Alright, let's see what happens when we get near it. See, that doesn't look like it's fit to me. Maybe if I tilt it up a bit more. There you go. Come on, give us a hug. Yeah. <laughs> right, is it going to cut? Like, how do we operate the cutting part of this? Wait, it's already done it. You want me? Well, okay. If that's how it works, that's how it works. I can imagine the odds of this thing just tipping over when this tree falls on your head. Oh boy! Oh my god! Place the cut tree into the green square by lowering the crane and releasing the grapple. Okay. 
lower it, and then unhug it, and jump out so we can actually see what's going on. Um, it's too heavy. <laughs> well, rip. <laughs> Let's get the skid and remove it. I know it's in the box. It doesn't make any sense, but it's for whatever reason, it's not loving this. Oh my God. Why do you have to get in? Like, <laughs> just let me in. Please don't tell me this has been disabled for the tutorial. Oh my God. I can't get it. <laughs> oh, rip. Right. We're going to have to just try and nudge it, I guess. By the vehicle before entering. Oh, great. Oh, these cameras. Let me zoom out, game. Why can't I zoom out anymore? I don't want to be so zoomed in. Let's try and give it a nudge this way. Can't really get in that way, I don't think. Need to cut another one we'll be fine just need to shove this into place there you go how is that not in place dude what do you want this thing <laughs> i'm you picked the wrong trade, do you reckon? I don't... Surely not. I mean, it says any tree within the circle. Unless there was a very specific tree that it wanted, but I don't see it marked. Um, whatever. I think we can say we've done that. I don't care if they didn't want that one. Let's do a different tutorial. Um, acquire vehicles. No, hang on. Yeah, so we just learned how to use the fella forward operations. Let's do that one. No, it said put it in the green square. I love the um the physics initialization, they're hilarious. <clears throat> Ooh. Hello. I don't know what the confetti is all about. Use the forward, forward of loading crane to operate the crane. Once crane is lifted, drive to the checkpoint ahead. Right. Tab loading mode. Uh, page up, page down. Okay, the Xbox control works as well. Is there no option to just reset the crane like there is in SnowRunner? That'll do. Turn the crane to the right, left. Lift the second... Wait, what? Lift the second crane? Does it mean there's the second arm? Extend crane, retract crane... Close or open the grappling hook. Tab. I should do it. That's fine. Uh, Jay Walker Day. Glenn, thank you for 73. Bandita, four years. Four years. Happy anniversary. Enjoy the new, the new badge. Right. I don't know where we're going. Maybe we'll go on picking up the tree that we just fell. <laughs> oh, I'm right. Surely it's those logs. Load the three logs on the right side of the road and proceed. Stop. Okay. 
So no kind of extension arms. Right, tab. Right, how do you change camera? Because <laughs> this camera sucks. Oh, here we go. Um, what's the extension? Right, so from what I can work out, left control on the Xbox does that. And then, sorry, left stick does that. Right stick does the second arm. And then D-pad up and down extends that thing. And then D-pad left and right. Uh, doesn't do anything. I thought it might turn the arm. Hmm. Turn crane. Sure, there must be a way of turning the crane on. X? What does X do? B? No. Oh god, trigger actually drives the truck. Yeah, but I, I mean, it works on the on the keyboard, but what is the Xbox mapping for it? That's what I was kind of wondering. I don't have to reach over to my keyboard just to do that. That's one. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't... Like, if I'm using a controller, why doesn't the, the the controller buttons up there just change? To tell me... Q and A. Well, that way. The controls are different to SnowRunner, and it's... Completely freaking with my brain. What does the F1 key do? It says keyboard. Ah, good, good shout, dude. F1, look, changes between the things. Oh, okay. So yeah, there is no but there is no button mapping for that bit. Um, D pad up and down, left shoulder driving mode. I think the cameras the controls are reversed from SnowRunner and Farm Sim, like up is down up is up and down is down instead of up being down if you see what I mean. So normally when you push forward on the stick, I'm sure the arm goes down, but on this, the arm goes up. How are we supposed to rotate that? There we go. Yeah, it just, I think it always depends whatever you got used to. I just pressed something. Did I just press V? <laughs> uh, tab. There we go. Okay, that was interesting. I accidentally pressed the V key and it threw me out the vehicle. I had to jump back in and then press the tab key to go back into crane loading mode. Okay. That that will do. I think.
Okay, that third log's not in properly, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, look. It fell into position. Is there no way to secure the load? Wait, did we just lose the log? We got how many logs have we got? No, we got three. I thought I heard a noise like something fell off, but I think it was just a. At least this one has a decent forward view. By going too fast, the loaded logs might fall out. Yeah. We'll be fine. If we hear a large noise, <laughs> I'll look out the back just to see if we've still got all three. I'm actually flooring it right now. It kind of feels like the vehicles are a little bit underpowered. Oh no, we've got another three. Rip. Take it slow, it said. I don't do slow. Driver camera, crane camera, there we go. I need to map a control to that turn, though. I'm surprised I didn't just do left and right in the D-pad. Depth perception. There we go. <laughs> Let's retract the arm. Can't, it's really hard to see when um, the log is just in the right place. Let's try and drop it a bit forward. There you go. Uh, Focus Z Tech, thank you for 11 months. Toby looks a bit like Farm Sim combined with SnowRunner. I think that's that's what they're trying to pitch it as, I think. They're trying to pitch it as like Mud Runner physics. I don't think the physics are as good as Mud Runner, but it definitely seems to have some physics. Can we get two in one? I think I'm too far away. I think I may have to move. Where's the handbrake? I can't see. I tell you, this is just like farm sim. The, the, the most difficult part of logging in any game is the camera. The camera always makes it ten times harder than it should be. Get to the right a little bit, though. Uh, Rich B, thank you for a double top. Rigsy, thank you for subbing with Prime. Welcome. Oh, 
Oh, I can't see that log anymore. Is it there? Have we got it? Yeah, boy. There we go. That should do it. It's a bit weird you can't secure anything, though. Oh, that log's going to fall at the back. Look, I can see it going. That log. That one in the middle. Is 100% falling out the back. You're not going anywhere. I can imagine the weight of these logs is uh, quite a lot. You don't know if they secure the load. They probably have a lot more friction, though. Right, do we just take them and sell them? Sell logs to complete the mission. Which was here, wasn't it? Oh, it's got to be worth a few bob, this. Last time we brought a tree, we got 1,600 Bitcoin. What? Wait, wait a minute. We brought one tree and got 1,600. We brought six lovely prepared equal length logs and get 28. How does that work? I'm just going to bring whole trees. That's just not worth it. Cont? Right, we've got another tutorial. Loading and selling logs. Didn't we just do that? Oh, learn how to upgrade vehicles, practice loading of logs, and selling for profit. Profit's good. We like profit. Um. <laughs> What's with all the confetti? Take the semi truck towards the garage. Once you're in position, leave the truck and purchase forks upgrade in the garage. Okay. Is this in position? Or do you have to, like, go inside or something? There's a symbol on the ground. Can we drive over there, maybe? Slowly turn right and park next to the loader. Now, I think we should have already got the upgrade at this point, maybe. Uh, Blue Torch, do you mean on YouTube or Twitch? feeling that we should have been back here for an upgrade. YouTube, yes. God, the audio is horrendous. Like, the audio doesn't line up with what's going on in the truck. And the truck feels like it's too light and bouncy. And I hate the way I can't zoom in and out on the camera. Like, the camera's just fixed here, and I really want to zoom out. Maybe there's a way of doing it somehow. I really don't know where we're meant to go at this point. I'll just park there and see if we can find an upgrade. 
It said, like, it said something about getting forked, but it didn't really say where from. Symbol outside. I'm not really sure where we go. There's no, like, upgrade station I can go to to buy an upgrade. What's this? Oh, was I supposed to come here, maybe? You think we're supposed to drive the truck to here? Yeah, I know parts over the symbol. No idea what I'm meant to do. It's really not clear. Let me go, let me do this again. I want to see what it said. It's Saturday for you, Cole. Good night, dude. It says, take this semi truck towards the garage, right? Okay. Once you're on the position, leave truck and purchase forks upgrade in the garage. Once you're on the position, leave truck and purchase forks upgrade in the garage. Okay. Is that on position? Leave truck and purchase upgrade in the garage. From where? From where do we buy this upgrade? <laughs> the X. What do you mean the X? There is no X. There's literally a symbol. Then there's that bit, which is for the loading, I think. But we haven't got the upgrade yet. Well, E, e doesn't pick anything up. Purchase forks upgrade in the garage. Which implies you go to like a console or something. There is none. Dude, I'm pressing E. Can you hear me pressing E? Listen. That's E being pressed. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> There's all these upgrades around here. I kind of feel like there's something missing here. Nope, you can't go through the doors. See, it's th this, this is the obvious clue. Oh, you, you left click on the green circle, guys. That's how you do it. You left click, you look at the circle, and you left click on it. You don't press E. <laughs> Once you've purchased the forks upgrade in the garage, purchase complete. Did that tell that teleported onto my truck? Cool. See, they installed it as well. Slowly turn right and park next to the loader. Okay. Then what? Does it want me more central?
This is the problem with tutorials. It's like they're very they're very defined in what you do, and if you try or accidentally don't do exactly what the developer programmed in to do, you end up going, huh? So now we've done what, what it said, but I don't think it's triggering the next bit. Slowly turn right and park next to loader. Maybe you wanted me to face the other way. What do you think? Maybe it wanted me to like come in this way. Not that. Forks in green back to loader. What does that mean? I kind of feel like we've done what it said. <laughs> meep, meep. 50,000 for a semi trailer. Power, power, uh. Don't think I'm buying that. 40 Moddy, thank you, mate. IRConfused.com. If I click on it, it's like, do you want to buy it for 50 grand? It said slowly turn right. I mean, that's not reverse into the box. Uh, Mickey, great streamer. Um, so, well, good moderators looking after you. Thank you for 60 months, dude. Enjoy that new badge. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that this tutorial's broken, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking either I'm not doing it right or it's broken. Let's do number six. The advanced tutorial. I mean, we've learned how to upgrade anyway. We just walk over to green circles and click on them. Use the cash tool and purchase the vehicle to follow the checkpoints. Use the cash tool to purchase the vehicle. 25 grand. Which is complete. All the checkpoints, okay. Um, I think the game just crashed. <laughs> it's literally frozen. I don't think I've ever seen a game do this in a while. Like, not, not you know, crash out, just freeze. Just completely freeze. Oh. What just happened? I'm driving along and then it freezes, then just like unfreezes. Remember the differential. Oh my God. That's, that's mad. Food from, thank you for 61. Who left these logs here? The vehicle Orianna's 4x4 drive. Little uphill drive is not a problem. This English is great. Follow the road. Take it slow through the next curve. Caution. The landslide took out part of the road ahead. Dude. Talking to SnowRunner experts here. Come on. This is nothing. He says falling off cliff. Use the mini map or zoom map. Use the mini map or zoom to big map for orientation. OK. 
Okay. The minimap's actually useful for seeing the next box. Is this just like an off-road challenge then? Entering Serpentine Road, Herpin Ahead. Uh, oh, excuse me. Thank you for Paul's eye 50 months. Slowly power on towards five years. Thank you, mate. Park on the green square. Yes, sir. Take the skidder and follow the checkpoints. What is this? Some kind of vehicle relay? Thing is, I'm not really sure why they have an, an open and a locking differential because if you put it on locking diff, it doesn't seem to make like there's no reason to turn it off. It doesn't seem to slow you down, doesn't slow you turning down, it doesn't break the vehicle. You might as well just put it on and leave it on. Or maybe it does slow you down. Hang on, let me try and test this. Actually, maybe it does slow you down. Holy smoke! What the physics is that? What just happened? <laughs> I just hit a log and just went stupidly flying. We're taking an off-road. Okay. Woo! I mean, that really makes me feel... You know, the, the full weight of the vehicle, like... I get a sense for its majestic mass. Not bouncing around like a kid's toy or anything like that. Oh no, not in this game. It's all about the realism. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> 